Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to this next stream in our Okami playthrough. This is episode 10. Last night we played, and we're going to play again tonight. Trying to get back into this normal schedule of doing one game twice in a week, so we can kind of get through this, these a little bit quicker. Because we've been dragging a lot of these out. So, if you're watching live on Twitch or over on YouTube after the fact, we got Hero is here. What is up, Hero? If anybody else is watching live, like I said, here or after the fact, thank you for stopping by and checking this out. Um, yeah, last night we left off. We had gone through the whole cave where we were, or not cave, but we were shrunken down. We went to, well, we went to this pirate ship first, and then we got shrunk down, and we were... Uh, running through an area there to save uh, the city from the toxic fumes which were coming out of the king or the the emperor so we went into his body and we took down the little baddie that was inside of him and now we're starting right off from there in the, mid in the middle of preheating my oven for din din you said what music is this uh, i guess you haven't been here in a while in the beginning of things I changed some of the opening music around to fit more of the theme. It's some of the uh, Monkey Island music, but I still have anime music here. Anime music won't ever go away, so anime music is the lead into things. So, but anyways, let's just get right to it then. I'm gonna go ahead and just replay the little section that we had in the beginning here, talking to the Emperor. So we'll kind of get into that. So let's take the music on out. Like I said, this is anime music. Check them out at animusic.com or over on. YouTube under any music. So here's the emperor here again. I just got to get this situated here first, actually. Sorry. <clears throat> Miss any music. Well, no, it's still here. Any music is still around and they're playing there in the beginning like normal. Which is some of the lead in has changed. And then I also, if you guys notice that for some reason it's not showing up, but there in the top right, I added a bit counter so it'll keep track of the last three donation of bits which my family donated but it doesn't show the name it pass a comma they donated 75 bits and I think I've added it to the top of the chat now as well for the top cheer so I know uh, Gabe had Gabe had a hundred at one time and so did uh, Zachary Joe but so it's kind of restarting there so anyways that's that I don't know why the name's not showing up by the bits, but there it is. So, anyways, let's get right to it. We're here talking to the Emperor. So a little bit of it, a little bit of this is redundant if you guys were watching last night, or if you haven't just watched the last part on the YouTube playthrough here. So the Emperor says, I wonder what was wrong with me. We just like I said, we just went into his body because we were shrunken down and got rid of the virus that was that was in him there. Uh, people say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya. Zachary Joe or Joe Lawrence? Well, it's actually Zachary Joe Admirable Lawrence. Is what I call him. Uh, Kaguya. And I remember a secret treasure for crossing a sea of fire. See, I don't actually remember him saying that last night. I must have not been reading. But I totally lost my memory of what happened after that. It's almost like I was possessed by a strange spirit. But I talk about a troublesome emperor. But Kaguya's safe and all. Guess we can cut him some slack. Admirable Zack. Yeah. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Guess we can cut him some slack. It's a white wolf and a curious bouncing ball. I have an uncanny feeling that I had a dream about you two. I must apologize to Queen Amiko for an unforgivable blunders. Amiko? Yes, that's it, Amy. The city's a complete mess, and Queen Amiko's do nothing, nothing about it. I think it said. Uh, there's no excuse for her just sitting around in her palace. Boy, am I gonna give her a piece of my mind. Ah, the lovely white wolf. For some reason, I feel so relaxed when you're around. I have this peaceful feeling as if you know me inside out. Oh, I know you from the inside, believe me. Whoa, Zachary Lawrence! 
thank you for the hundred bits as they come falling out of the sky there and now it's on the so it's so your name shows up up there so thank you so much i do appreciate that a lot back up top there <laughs> I'm collecting demon fangs, that's right. Okay, yeah, he's collecting demon fangs. He's selling stuff. Okay, we're gonna skip over that. I got work, hold on. So yeah, see so this guy uh, takes demon fangs, which we only have five of, so... I would like to get this... Fog pot, if I'm... If I'm understanding it correctly, it lets me transfer between origin mirrors, which I think those are the save, the save spots. So, I don't, I don't know. I think that's what that means, but we don't have enough anyways. <clears throat> Come and visit me again. We have enough demon fangs and stuff. All right, so we had done this. I don't know why I went all the way around when I just need to go right through that. We've done this, and then, um, we ran out here and it triggered a cutscene, so. Sorry, I missed the Mizashi 2. Will you be streaming it again? Yeah, we ran out here, which I can't change the camera angle, but yeah, we ran out here and it triggered a triggered this here with her. Hold on a second. Yet again, I'm sorry. Okay. Alright, lady we saved. Is there something behind this this lady here? No, next week. Oh, okay. <laughs> you said you already beat it, but... Alright, hey, you bamboo girl. What are you doing spacing out here? I mean, you're free now. You can go anywhere you want. Oh, hello, you two. I hardly recognize you. You were so tiny when we first met. You certainly cut a dashing figure at full size. Think so? Well, actually, I hear stuff like that all the time. Huh? Oh, yes, I meant you too, soon. Did we actually tell her our names? Anyways, the place is so dangerous. Anyways, the city is a dangerous place right now. You should head back to your grandpa's house. That emperor's fella's got an eye for the treasure of yours, right? You should get away before others start sniffing around. Plus, your grandpa seems awfully lonely, you know. Really? Oh, I see. That dear old man thinks of me of his own granddaughter as his own granddaughter. I would really like to return, but you're not his granddaughter. You mean your real family lives somewhere else? Oh, anyway, you should just go see him if you feel that way. I know nothing of my past. I don't even know who I am or where I came from. My first memory is of waking up in a bamboo grove. The bamboo cutter took me home, where I was lovingly cared for. To repay his kindness, I helped him with his bamboo wear. If that's the case, then why don't you hurry up and go see him? I know nothing of my past. Oh, she just said that. But I do recall one faint memory. The one memory you just told us. I thought long and hard while I was imprisoned. It was then that I remembered being in a small, dark room long ago. That's all I can think about now. And I feel I must get there as soon as I can. I cannot escape that feeling. It's a pretty weird story. I mean, you don't even know where it is you want to go back to. Bits and pieces of my memory are coming back in flashes. Together, they form a vision. I see a royal crest inscribed in earth amid a grove of bamboo. I must go to Sasa Sanctuary. There, it shall become clear. All right, we gotta go to the Sasa Sanctuary, all the way back there now, in Eastern Nepal. Huh? What's gotten into you? I mean, first with the dark room, and now you're suddenly wanting to go to Sasa Sanctuary. I don't know where I must return. Why? Well, uh, why I must return? I don't know. Uh, but I have this intense feeling in my heart. It drives me forward to my ultimate destination, 
It drives me to seek the royal crest. I must leave for Sasa Sanctuary at once! Uh, I guess I have a face, but you can see me in the comments of any Kanor post. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, Bamboo Girl! Ah, oh, she's gone. Alright. I guess Sasa Sanctuary, here we go! If this lady has anything else to say. <laughs> have you noticed that the mist over the city has suddenly disappeared? There must have been some change in the Emperor. We'll take credit for that, thank you very much. Hey, wait. What about you, sister? Why didn't you try to help the Emperor? Couldn't your mystical powers have located the source of that mist? I knew it. You and Amiko are up to no good. That, that was my mistake. But I'm just a priestess, you know? I can't go snooping around in the Imperial Palace for no reason. Anyway, if you cleared up the mist, then I offer my congratulations. So then, now that's that now that that's resolved, it is on to the next problem. What's the next problem? All of what you've done so far is amazing. Thank you. However, the water dragon is a much bigger problem. Yo Gabe, what's up? No trading ships can get through. The city's food is running low, and the evil besieging our fair land still looms large in the shadows. Now is exactly the time we need to get. No, oh, now is exactly the time that we need them. If only we had the fox rods. Oh, we'll skip that. All right, so we need to get the fox rods. This lady's going to that one shrine or whatever. <clears throat> I'm guessing we'll probably just go there because it'll probably all play into the same same thing I'm guessing maybe I don't know we shall find out this would be a good time where I could have the whole teleporting thing running back and forth is kind of annoying but oh well oh yeah that's right this is all clear now so everybody's happy Sweet! The curse zone vanished along with that funky mist. Okami is lame game. Stelio is lame sauce. There we go. <clears throat> it looks like the city's come back to life. Emmy, bet you never saw a, a happening place like this hundred years ago. This must be exciting for you, being from that country and all. Being from the country and all. Now, I know you just want to have fun, but don't go overboard. Ooh, lame sauce. I mean, I don't want you to forget what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, so now we got to talk to everybody because now we're going to get information from them now that the mist is gone. Come listen to Miss Rao again, Dougie. Very dedicated. Some of these I'm just going to kind of skim through. Put it on my egg roll. <laughs> She's just wonderful. Okay, all these people love Rao. Supposed to be happy. Come on, turn on around and blame. Okay. <laughs> Lord Seven, what is up? Settle down, Basile. <laughs> yes, more Okami tonight as well. And now that we've got a good group of guys here, or a group of folks, um, I want to let you guys know next week, I'm pretty sure we'll be back to semi normal. So that means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we will have our streams like normal at 9.45. Saturdays are still up in the air right now, but I think I'll be back to my normal five in a row. Um, so that's the plan right now. Work is kind of going back to normal, which is awesome. So it'll be the normal five nights a week. And um, yeah, so that'll be awesome. A good group of guys. Who do you think we are? I think you guys are good guys. Good folks. I think all you guys are guys, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. At least the ones that are in the chat. But, anyways. Um, I feel so refreshed. Really, something gloomy mist went away. Suddenly feel much better. Now, do you know who I am, but? My name is Masu. I'm a warrior traveling a land of perfect martial arts. Ooh. 
Good guys. Traveling warrior Masu. The truth is, there are some monsters I just have to defeat. I have a list of all of them in special manifest. I call it the monster manifest. There's just so much to this game. This is crazy. Uh, monster manifest. They deserve what's coming. Then I finally manage to defeat all of them. Then I can stand proud and tall as a true warrior. So do we get to have a copy and get to do it? You want to see my monster manifest? I'm afraid that's not possible. It contains the names of most vicious monsters out there. The likes of you would probably faint just from looking at it. Where's Cockanizer been? Yeah, he sent me a message earlier today. Um, saying he added me on the... Uh, even if I had a few drinks at night and relaxed my guard, I would never... Oh, so if we come back at night and he's a little tipsy, he's going to show us the... Show us the... Uh, Manifest. What's up? Afternoon is so relaxing. I mean, everything's all ready. Now all we have to do is wait for the customers. Hello there, pup. You look like someone who appreciates fine cuisine. Proper diet is the key to life. Eat well and be healthy. I'm Yama, top chef in Cyan City. Pleased to meet you. Kenora, can you shout out for Bird Dog, please? Who's Bird Dog? I don't know what bird dog is. <laughs> is it somebody that's here? I mean, I don't know. If they're not in the chat, I don't, I don't know who's here. You know, if people are lurk, if people are lurking, just, just let them lurk. Fiery chief, uh, chief, oh, God. Fiery chef Yama. What do you think about this huge pot on the giant stove? And we've got a host from Steel. Thank you so much for the host, Steel. I do appreciate it. I just noticed it had like little stars there. That's cool. Um, I invested every yen to my to my name into it. Had to get special order for what I'm aiming to do. Ever heard of the tale of that mushroom? Not a single chef in the world that doesn't know about it. Talking about the legendary golden mushroom. I, it's the first I've heard of it. I think, right? Spent decades trying to master the culinary arts, but I have yet to make a dish that truly satisfied me. I think he changed his name, actually. I think he switched it and it starts with a K now. If only I can get my paws on one of the giant golden mushrooms, so this is like a side quest we can do. <clears throat> What's the other Guts name? Guy's name? Uh, the 007? Yeah, I haven't seen him in... Kill Cam 007, I haven't seen him in a while either. Uh, prove my screw dish, the ultimate dish. I already have this huge pot, giant stove, all I need is a giant mushroom, or golden mushroom. And I'll master the art of cooking. Could it be? Is that... Is that a lead? Oh wait, we have a golden mushroom? Oh wow! Then when did we get that? <laughs> See, this is why I wanted to play games more often during the week because I forget what we've been doing the last how many weeks. Sparkling gold color, that captivating shape. Yes, there can be no doubt. Where in the world did you find it? Oh, never mind that. With that mushroom, I could fulfill my dream—my dream to master the art of cooking. Please, pup, you must have that mushroom. What could a dog do with it anyway? Offer the gold mushroom? Yeah, sure. Really? Oh, thank you. You're such a good pup. With this golden mushroom, I will attempt to make the ultimate dish. My long cherished dream will finally be fulfilled. Did he make it yet? Hmm. Oh, yes, the ultimate dish. I was so overwhelmed by emotion when the legendary golden mushroom came into my paws that a day has passed without my preparing this huge pot and giant stove from this day. Now the time has come. I shall wait no more. Today's the fiery chef Yama will prepare the ultimate dish. Now watch carefully. You may learn a thing or two. Behold, the super deluxe fan of flames dance. Oh god. Yeah, where did we get? I'm gonna have to go back and watch where the heck we got this golden mushroom. I don't remember. Oh, we don't have the ability. To We don't have the ability for flame. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I don't have the ability f to make flame, right? Guys, if somebody's lurking, you don't need to necessarily call them out.